Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I almost landed that, but I didn't. It's fine. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode from our 1.19 series where we are exploring the wild update. My name is Delil Red, and in our last episode, we worked on finding the stronghold. We were able to get ourselves another piece of ancient debris so we could make our netherite chest plate. We were also able to get some more blaze rods, locate that stronghold, figure out in the nether where it is in relation to our area, and we made it back safely to decorate our little panda sanctuary at the end of the episode. Now today, guys, we are going to be working towards the dragon fight. Yes, it's that time of the series. But before we do that, I want to finish a bridge that we worked on on stream. Now I'm going to take shaders off because I, I, I don't want my PC to hate me. But guys, in some uh, off-camera time, I fixed the forest that kind of burned down a little bit from my live stream that I had with you guys. If you guys were on that live stream, uh, you saw how chaotic it got when uh, lightning struck and kind of uh, burnt down a bit of our forest. So I started replanting some of the trees, some of the saplings I'm still waiting to grow up. But we also, on a live stream, worked on a bridge here. And so what we're going to do first is we are going to finish working on this bridge, making it look pretty and get it all overgrown and green and lush, you know, fit the vibe of the area. And then we're going to get started getting geared up to go beat that dragon. So I'm going to get to work on this bridge and I will see you guys after the time lapse. This adds so much to our area, guys. I love this bridge so much. And we will come underneath it. And we've just got a very, very simple little docking bit because we have our main dock down by our iron farm. But if we just want to come dock here, see our sugarcane and gunpowder farm, then we can go right up the little path. But here is the entrance from our gunpowder and sugarcane farm. We'll just do a little slow tour. I added some mushroom blocks and some leaf blocks into the floor as well as just some spruce trapdoors and some spruce planks to just kind of fit in our mushroom dark oak vibes. But then we've got all of the fence gates along the edges here. We used fence posts and the lights for our support beams to hold up our roof. Our roof is lined with the mushroom blocks and we have these slabs from spruce as well but I love the texture of the floor and it's just so cute. I love it so much. And this is what it looks like uh, from our little uh, villager breeder sign. So I love it. I think it's so cute and it's starting to get night, which is perfect timing because next I want to start working on getting some supplies ready to go beat the dragon. And one of those things is phantom membranes for some slow falling potions. And after a few sleepless nights, we finally had what we needed to go start making some potions. First grabbed another wart. Got that brewed down to be an awkward potion. Then got a phantom membrane and got that brewed up. And finally added some redstone dust to make the potion last for eight minutes instead of a minute 30. Once all the potions were made up, I started grabbing them all to move them into my under chest to get ready for fighting the dragon. Alrighty, so we've got gunpowder and then we've got sugar cane to make paper with. Make paper, make rockets, okay. Then we've got three stacks of rockets in here. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna we're gonna get going. I'm actually kind of nervous. Uh, I've never I haven't done this in so long. I'm gonna bring some wood in case I need to craft anything. 
But then I think we're we're good. I think we got everything we need, and <laughs> I need to stop procrastinating. So let's grab this. We've got water buckets, we've got the bed, we've got everything we need. Let's go fight a dragon. I realized I almost forgot a pumpkin, so I can make a jack-lantern to wear on my head. So we're gonna stop by the village, pick up a pumpkin. Actually, uh, I'm, I'm changing course because there's pumpkins on the hill. Okay, I'm gonna grab like three of these just in case. Now we're good to go since we have our pumpkins. Set spawn. We've got all of the eyes of Ender. We're getting extra building blocks set aside. We're keeping carved pumpkins here. We're gonna leave a bunch of rockets here just in case. Mine as well. Okay, I I think we're good. Okay. All right, guys. Since I hid the armor, you can't see the pumpkin, which is kind of cool because then uh, you can still see me, except I have the pumpkin blur. So I think uh, I'm gonna do some uh, production magic and add a mod so that we don't see this when we look around and there we have it i'm wearing a pumpkin the pumpkin is on my head but in my first person view i don't see a pumpkin and i will link it down in the description where i got it so we've got a pumpkin we're safe from enderman but we see crystal clear i'm going to also take it off of my head so that we still look like our cute little mushroom self. But I'm I'm literally procrastinating so hard right now, so I'm gonna leave these guys here. Okay, there's no time left. We've gotta do it. And here we go. And the last one. Here we go. We're going to defeat that dragon. Let's go. The end, okay? Okay, we're on a platform, which is no big deal because we have blocks. Oh gosh, okay, here we go, guys. All right, there it is. Ah! I just realized I left my ender chest in that room. Yeah, so this means this is all we got, which we have one stack of rockets and yep. I'm, I'm so smart. I got all prepared for nothing. So that means we have the water bucket for water bucket clutches and that's all. All right. And you all know how this next bit goes. Got one, good. Shot a few of the end crystals. Got that one. Pillared up to a tall one. Got launched and almost died. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I almost landed that, but I didn't. It's fine. Tried using my water bucket to climb all the way back up again. <gasps> no! It's okay. It's okay. Good thing I set my spawn. Grabbed a pickaxe, grabbed some backup armor, grabbed some new slow fall potions, some food, some building blocks, fireworks, a new pumpkin, carved that up quick. Grabbed the Featherfall 4 boots instead, and back in we went. Ran back to collect all of our stuff, got yeeted again. So then I dug myself a hidey hole, made a chest to store the backups. All right, eat our food, and go back in. Went straight back to the exact same door that killed me almost twice. Was real glad I drank slow fall. Ooh, went back and finally got the shot out of the next one, and got that one. And grab this dragon's breath, right? Yeah, look at that. Dragon's breath. Cool. And got the final. Done. Okay. Then began hitting the dragon whenever it perched. Got launched. Ooh, you yeeted me. Hit it some more. Got launched again. Some more bow shots. Some more axe shots. Got launched again. And finally, the health was getting low enough. Alright guys, we're getting close. Just a few more while we get her on this last round. And... Oh, we did it! We got it! We freed the end! Oh my gosh, this is my 
my second time doing this. I'm so happy. Look at that XP raining down. Oh, look at this. Yes, repair my tools. Repair everything that's been broken. Oh. Oh, we made it, guys. And look, the egg. We have the egg. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I only died once, which is better than me dying 12 times. So it's progress, right? But uh, man, I am not used to doing this. But we did it, guys. We actually did it. I'm so happy. I know a lot of people like do this often. Um, but for me, this is a, this is a big deal. Um, I don't do this. This is my second time defeating the dragon. Uh, I feel like it took me, you know, uh, at least half an hour, maybe 45 minutes because I died, but it's fine. Just cover this up so I can get the egg. That'd be great. Okay, so to get the egg, we put a torch down, break that block. <gasps> there it is. Okay, clear the inventory, make room. The dragon egg. Look at this, guys. We've got the dragon egg. Ah, the next generation. <gasps> Yay, that's such an accomplishment. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, well, we have the dragon egg, and now let's find that end gateway and go looking around the end. All right, look at that. The end gateway. Ooh, that was scary. That is right on an edge. Oh, my word. Why? Realized I was once again on an island platform, then started collecting more blocks so I could bridge my way over. And so we were off on our adventure east in the end, looking for end ships and end cities. And then finally spotted one. Once we were close enough, we looked over the towers, realizing this has those tall, deadly chambers. Ender pulled across the void to get closer, and then started busting our way into the end city. Started shooting at the shulkers, trying to collect shulker shells and dealing with levitation effect. Found some loot, and then tried working my way over to a corner so we could land safely. Finally killed all the shulkers in the room so I could make a little box for myself. Okay, eat some food. Checked the first chest and it wasn't really anything special, but I grabbed the horse arm. Then grabbed our first shulker shell, collected a few end rods, grabbed our second shulker shell, made a crafting table, and then made our very first shulker box. There we go, first shulker box, yay! Now that we got ourselves a shulker box, we decided it was time for us to head out to keep looking for an Elytra. Not long after, we came across a small end city, and just a little bit further in the distance was finally what we were looking for, an end ship. Proceeded to break our way into the bottom of the ship and started fighting the shulker. Excuse me, I'd like these wings. Thank you, can you leave? Thank you. Excuse me. Ha ha ha. All right, big moment, wings. Oh, the sky's the limit, the war for the sky. The dragon first, then for the elytra. Look at this, we've got an elytra. Oh, it's so exciting. Now what I should have done, hindsight 2020, is bring a mending and unbreaking book, which probably some of you in the comments will already tell me that. But uh, I haven't done this in a while, so. Yeah, we're learning. Next, went to go collect the dragon head. Oh, look at that. We've got the dragon head. Oh, it's so great. Dragon head in hand. It was time to head back home. Look at this, guys. Our first flight. And of course, because I hid my chest plate, <laughs> you couldn't see my wings. But here we go. This is so exciting. Oh, I love it. And with our new shiny wings on our back, we started heading back home looking down at the places we walked on foot, and it doesn't really seem that scary anymore, flying above the void. Even running back across our bridge isn't as scary. Oh, man, we did it, guys. We accomplished defeating the dragon, getting an elytra. I am so excited. We can now open this up as well. Oh, so amazing. All right, we did it, guys. And now we go back home. And here we are, the end credits. And I'm pressing escape to skip it. We did it, guys. This portal is no longer scary because we have wings and we have rockets to get around. But now we're gonna head back home and finally we get to see what our base looks like from the sky. And I love it. I'm super excited to finally have an Elytra 
It's going to be great to make our way around exploring some more. This is great. Let's go grab bending and unbreaking. And we've got an, our elytra all ready to go and combine the books for two. Take off our elytra. And there we go. Bending, unbreaking on our elytra. I next wanted to quickly go make some of those clouds for our AFK tower so we can get rid of this ugly scaffolding. So that's what we're gonna work on next. So I'm just gonna go grab some blocks from our storage room and then we're gonna get started on that. There we go, guys, our little, little clouds. Oh, I think they look so cute in the sky. What do you guys think? They just kind of add a little something to the area, right? And now we have a little AFK platform. It kind of looks a little funny that there's just a few clouds hovering above the sugarcane farm, but at the same time, I really like it. I think it's super cute to have them there, but let's turn off shaders before my PC screams at me some more. But. Uh, if we come from over here, whoop, there we have it. I think it looks pretty good. Just kind of cute. I might add some more into the sky just to kind of like circle the gunpowder farm more so. I'm not really looking to like replace all of the vanilla clouds, but more so just kind of make it intentionally just hovering and circling just above where our sugarcane farm is because it just makes sense. But now that we have finished making those clouds, that is all the time that I have for today. We did a lot. We were able to make some slow fall potions and go to the end, defeat the ender dragon. We only died once, so I'd say that was pretty successful for only having uh, defeated the dragon twice. And we were able to get ourselves an elytra and make these lovely little clouds in front of me and above my head. We also were able to make this bridge, which fits our area so well with the mushroom blocks kind of matching our lanterns. And it just adds a really cozy yet really practical feel to our area. And we were also able to make a little dock so that when we do come bridging by, if we are coming to just our sugarcane farm, we now have a little dock and bridge to go with it. But that is all the time I have for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.